Hasta luego. Probably we've taught ourselves, we've allowed ourselves to learn to hate ourselves for being white. The enemy wants to make us slaves and either kill us off or breed us out of existence. This is a reality that most people do not understand. They don't even understand why we're still here. Why haven't they accomplished these goals? We're going to talk about that in a future video, but what I want to talk about something today is the illusion of freedom. We're also taught to hate the truth and love the lie. Again, this is an illusion of freedom. The worst kind of slave in this world is a slave who does not know that he or she is a slave. It's the illusion of freedom. How did the enemy come to wield this much power over the masses? It happened in six short stages in a very short period of time. The first phase the people ignored evil. The second phase, the people permitted evil. The third phase, the people legalized evil. The fourth phase, the people promoted evil. The fifth phase, the people celebrated evil. And the sixth and final phase, the people persecute those who stand up to evil. If your nations and I'm talking about all white Western cultured nations. If your nations were told the Chinese infiltrated your government, corrupted your schools, your courts, devalued your dollar, uh, raised the, the economy and raised the, the cost of everything by 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 percent. If they po poisoned the food, air and water, if they owned and operated Hollywood, all television media, music, pornography, education, medicine, and more. What would the people think about the Chinese? What if the same people were told the Chinese murdered, stole, stole, and destroyed your heritage and way of life? What if this were told to the American people and that it was a fact? The American people would immediately demand that we wage war on China. Immediately. Now, you can replace China with Saudi Arabia, Russia, or any nation on this earth except one. Except one. However, if this scenario were replaced with the state of Israel, the people would immediately say it's wrong, and we are targeting the state of Israel and the Jewish people for no reason. The illusion of freedom is alive. And the enemy right now is using invisible chains to enslave the people. 
You see, sometimes you have to consent to the slavery. There is a choice. You have to consent. The people are being programmed to believe the lie and reject the truth. The people are being programmed to walk, talk, feel, and live exactly as the enemy desires. Let me share something with you that happened to me and my wife. There's a video that gets millions and in some cases tens of millions of views. Why? Why? Why do they get that many? We watched a video for the sole purpose of debunking and teaching the people. On a YouTube video that appeared in my feed, I looked at it and I thought, I'm going to take a look at it. Because my wife and I are huge animal lovers. I mean, we love all of God's creatures, man. We love them all. Therefore, because it came up in my feed, I decided to watch and expose the lie. Now, my wife is no rookie either. She can spot a con and a liar from miles out. The name of the title of the video was This Stray Dog Followed Me Home and What Happens Next Will Break Your Heart. End of the title. And what happened to me in the comment section of this video Help me to understand just how bad it really is. I told my wife, I said, it's a lie, baby. She said, show me. Now, how did I know it was a lie before I even watched it? Because this is who and what they are. I know how deep and how far the lies go in this world of slaves on the synagogue of Satan's farm. Now, the video starts out with a dog following a man. Never mind who was filming and why. Never mind the different camera angles. Uh, folks don't think about that because they, have, they don't have a sound mind. They don't have any critical thinking. So we have this man, and all of a sudden there's a stray dog following him. And he goes on to his home, and he films a dog, or two or three other people are filming the dog. They reach the man's house, and the man decides to adopt the dog. Now, I watched this video and I became furious at the level of deceit and even using animals. However, I'm going to tell you, something was to happen in the comments section that took me even further and blew my mind. And folks, it's hard to blow my mind. It was obvious that this man was an actor. He knew who this dog was and he pretended this dog was a stray. And you can easily tell that this was a skit. He goes on for the next five minutes to pretend as if the dog followed him and he took him in. He shows the dog being groomed, eating, and enjoying his new life. They even went so far as to put a little fake dirt on the dog, and they did it right because they made a lot of money from it and they garnered a lot of views. Soft music plays in the background, and it ends with the guy smiling, he's crying, and the dog being given a new life. And as I scrolled down to read the comments, I was going to see just how far and deep the masses are falling. 20,000 people commenting about how emotional they are over seeing this fake feel-good story. Not one of the zombies watching or that posted had the spiritual discernment to say that's a staged video to garner views and make money. Not one of these canatonic antichrist spirits could see they're being played. And to make it worse, the guy had other videos showing the same with other dogs, cats, and even birds landing in his backyard. He's a seducing spirit. He's a moneymaker. He preys on the naivete and weakness of the slaves on the farm. But it was what I read in the comments section. Now, if these zombies really cared about animals, they would reach out to the shelters all over this nation where poor animals have no home. Now, you can easily see the parallels of this story to the same mindset of people who turn on any outlet on the Internet or Fox News or whatever it may be and believe everything they see and hear. It's the same thing. It's staged and contrived. 
Then I did something that I do not do a lot of on YouTube. I said to my wife, watch this. I made a comment on the video and it was incredibly terse, very short. All I said was this, stay with me folks, because it's what they said back to me. I said, and I quote, you all do realize this is a hoax. That's it. I immediately received replies saying, I'm evil, I'm a troll, and then they hit me with it. A few of them said something that describes the United States in all white Western culture. This is what they said. So what? Even if it is a hoax, it makes me feel good. Let me repeat it again for you. So what if it is a hoax? It makes me feel good. You see, it's a lie, but it makes them feel good. It's a lie, but it makes them feel good. Think about it. Take it in. Because when you really take that in and digest it, you'll really understand a lot about what's going on in this old world. The illusion of freedom is all around us. You see, they acknowledge that even when the masses know something is a lie, they don't care anymore. It makes them feel good. The lie makes them feel good. And this is what we are seeing and we are surrounded by in this world. 99% of the people in this world are locked into a mass hypnosis. The people will fight to the death to defend the status quo of their version of the truth. And they demonize anybody who comes along and disrupts that with the real truth. Almighty God said in Romans 1, 20, 1, Romans 1, 22, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Proverbs 14, 15 says, the simple believe with every word, but the prudent man looking well to his going. You know, in the Garden of Eden, when Eve was in the Garden of Eden, the devil came to her and tempted her. Now, I'm not going to get into everything that happened, but what I do want to tell you is this. What happened in the garden to, that started it all? Well, let me explain it to you. When the devil, the serpent, which was not a snake, it was a man. Surely you don't think, think Eve would have had a conversation with a snake, do you? When this man spoke to her, Eve had two choices. Engage in conversation or refuse Think about what I'm telling you. God had given her instructions. You do not banter back and forth with evil. In the book of Jude 1 9, the archangel Michael confronted the devil over the devil wanting to steal the body of Moses. The archangel Michael did not engage in conversation with the devil. And scripture says he did not even bring a railing accusation against him, but simply said, May the Lord Jesus rebuke you. Now this was after the archangel had defeated him in a battle in heaven as recorded in Revelation chapter 12. In the book of Matthew chapter 4, the devil tempted Jesus for 40 days and for 40 nights. I've done many videos about it. Now we don't know the extent of it except for what the Bible tells us. Jesus did not engage in meaningless conversations with the devil. He quoted the word of our God, our Father, repeatedly and said that that is enough, and it was. The people of today are engaged in conversation and fornicating with the devil and his mentally ill family, some deliberately and some through sheer weakness and stupidity and even blindness. You know, the devil was called the serpent. It comes from the word nakash. It means enchanter seducer, a magician. And it's amazing that in the last days, the Bible tells us that people will fall prey to seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, seducing spirits, because we're in a spiritual war. You're in a spiritual war, and you start out crawling, but then you must learn. Before you can walk, you got to crawl. 
And then when you walk, you got to learn to walk before you can run. And then you got to learn to run before God will tell you now you can fly. Because you're going to have to understand, you're going to have to live in the spirit to make it in this last mile. You're going to have to learn to live in the spirit in this last mile. We have no business fornicating or talking with evil. And people do it all the time. And people love the lie. They are slaves on the farm and they don't even know it. There's only one truth in this world. One that matters. God is real. And God gave you the image of himself in Jesus Christ. Man, that is the truth that unlocks every other truth. And if you don't know that, you will live and stay on the farm all of your life. Sadly, most folks do not know they're even on a farm. Some folks believe they're above the farm, that they've escaped the farm. It's amazing how the devil fools them, him and his family. They just put the fences back, but you're still on, on the same farm. They just changed the illusion. To truly leave the farm, God has to take you in spirit and lift you up and take you away from the farm. You cannot fall for the illusion of freedom. Real freedom comes from God. When you can look at this world and say, I know what it is. God Almighty said that enmity, that anybody that loves this world has enmity with him. Think about what I just said to you. God said that if you have love for this world, you have enmity with me. Enmity is hatred. We must live in spirit and we must live in the truth if we are going to survive these last days. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.